Hey everybody, this is Caitlin with Ozarks Alive. Today, we're here in the Shrine Mosque, one of the most distinctive buildings in downtown Springfield. I think it's really hard for someone to have lived in Springfield and not wonder about this building. With its really distinct colors and design elements, what really is the story behind it? Today, we're gonna talk about five things that you maybe didn't know about the Shrine Mosque. So back in the day, the Shrine Mosque was really the place to go to see entertainment, even of national caliber. Right here in Springfield, we had Frank Sinatra, Dolly Parton, even US presidents like Harry S. Truman and Ronald Reagan were right here in the Shrine Mosque. In addition to concerts, the Shrine Mosque has also been a gathering place for community events over the years. There was a car show in here, right down here with cars inside the building. There was a rotary convention back in 1926 that drew thousands of people to downtown Springfield. And on D-Day, one of the most traumatic events in our nation's history, people gathered here to find information and mourn together. The Shrine Mosque dates back to 1923. The tribe behind it, Abu Ben Adam, didn't have a home initially. They actually met over at today's Hotel Vandervoort back when it was a Masonic temple. Back in 1923, when the Shrine Mosque was built, its stage was actually one of its most notable features. It was said to be second in size over the entire country, only coming in after the Metropolitan Opera in New York City. And on opening day, people came from across the country to see this landmark in what was heralded as one of the finest mosques in the Middle West. One of the really special elements about the Shrine Mosque is its detail. Everywhere you look, there's unique tile work, distinctive colors, and all sorts of things that make the building stand out. One thing that confuses people sometimes, though, is its religious ties, because actually there are none. People sometimes think it's a religious building. They even have people come here to visit, but there isn't any of that at all. It actually goes back to a Moroccan party that Shriners went to back in the day. For even more information about the Shrine Mosque, be sure to check out the full story on OzarksAlive.com and stay tuned for future videos about other interesting pieces of Ozarks history.